Hi there and welcome back to another edition of Gray Hair and Tattoos. My name is Lonnie and today we are going to be talking about breaking in your Doc Martens. Now I've been wearing Doc Martens since the 90s. I absolutely love them. I have a very, I think, impressive collection of Doc Martens. I have the last time I counted, I believe, 15 pairs. So I know a thing or two about Doc Martens just from my own experience and the decades of wearing them. So I have some tips and some tricks that I'd like to pass on to you. So we're going to be talking about just basically um, how to break them in, some do's and don'ts, and then I'm gonna share with you a new method that I just recently tried, and I'm absolutely thrilled with the outcome. So let's just jump right into it. So the most important thing when you're considering breaking in a brand new pair of Doc Martens is just make sure that if you do any extreme method that you see a breaking in, make sure you do it with the original leather Doc Martin. Um, it is not advice. I do not advise using these any of these methods towards um, with vegan leather shoes. They they're just different they don't have the same stretch and i don't want you to damage your vegan boots so i've been told that the vegan boots break in differently they're actually easier to break in they don't need as much stretching and instead of stretching they more conform to your foot so again this methods that i'm going to be using um, this is for the original leather doc martens let's just jump right in to this new method that i found this new method that i found a couple of people had told me on my social media platforms um, about freezing about putting a bag of water you know basically you freeze a baggie full of water inside of your shoes and what that does is when it's freezing, it, the water expands into ice and it stretches out the leather for you. Now, I, have, I heard of it and I'm, I was kind of skeptical. I was like, hmm, sure. You know, that doesn't sound something like it's going to work. So I didn't, I didn't use it and I didn't do it. And I kept on just hearing about it, but I just did, never did it. So I decided to do an alter, a, a different method. And I had also heard through my social media platform about people taking hammers to their boots. So I don't know, maybe it's the more aggressive side in me. I decided to do an experiment and I took a hammer to my white Jaden boots. I just sat there and I, I put a, a, a cloth over the top of it and I just went to, I went to town on my boot. Well, one of my followers made a very good comment and they were like just be careful of the toe area because if i'm sitting here and i'm hitting it with a hammer and i break the integrity of the toe i've kind of ruined my boots and i'm like well that's not really what i wanted i'm not going into this whole thing to ruin my boots so i'm like well darn you know that kind of that kind of took that wind out of my sails but i had somebody at the same time be like have you tried the freezing method? So I was like, you know what? I gotta do it. I, I've been hearing so much about it. I just have to take the plunge and I have to try the freezing method. So what I did is I actually started, I tried the freezing method with these Hello Kitty um, Oxfords. Super cute, absolutely love them. Um, Doc Martens actually gave these to me. And I th they're super cute and I absolutely love them but they've always been really stiff. They've been stiff to the point where I haven't taken really the time or the effort to break them in. So I thought, what a great shoe to start with. So I got my um, two storage bags and I put one inside the other because I wanted to double it up because the last thing I want to do, again, is to ruin my shoes. Um, I put them in and I filled them full of water and I froze it for 24 hours. So I took it out the next day and I'm like, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more water and I'm gonna put it back in the freezer for another 24 hours, for a total of two days, 48 hours. So at the end of 48 hours, I took my shoes out of the freezer, defrosted them. Um, and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks at the end of this, but I defrosted them, finally took the ice out of my shoe and 
absolutely amazed. Absolutely amazed at how much softer my shoes were. I, again, I was able to, the next day, they're still a little damp, but I still wore them anyway. Um, I wore them to work. I stood in them for eight hours and my feet were fine. They went from being very stiff, very almost plastic-like, to just very soft leather. And I was absolutely amazed. I'm amazed still. I'm still I'm amazed while I'm telling you. So it absolutely worked on my Oxfords. So then I'm thinking, okay, Lonnie, they work on the Oxfords, but how are they gonna work on a boot? So I got my good old white Jaden platform boots that I absolutely love. And I absolutely have not been able to wear them and get the use out of them because they are so incredibly stiff. I, again, I've, I've talked to, um, I'm friends with the manager of um, the Doc Martin store in, in San Francisco. And he says that the more dyed the leather is, the harder it is to break in. He, he also too agreed, the white Jadens are the, probably the hardest boots to break in. So I'm like, why not? You know what, I got these cute boots, I can't wear them, I might as well try the experiment that I just did on my Oxfords on my Jadens. So I got my two storage bags, again, you know, one inside the other, put them all the way down to the tip of my toe, filled them full of water, and froze them. I froze them this time for three days, not for any other reason. I didn't have time to unfreeze them yesterday, but I froze them for three days. Took them out of the freezer, um, got the ice out, and again, absolutely amazed at how much softer my boots are. I couldn't, I couldn't do this with my, with my boots prior to doing the freezer bag and the freezer. I will have to 100% endorse this method to break them in. If you have a pair of Doc Martens that you've been trying to break in and you just can't seem to try this method. Um, it's my belief that, you know, since it is water and it is fluid, it's going and it's stretching those places of your boot that is a little bit harder for just your toe to stretch or your foot to stretch. Um, I did not damage either one of my shoes. They are both in perfectly good condition. And again, I 100% am endorsing this. I think it is an amazing way to break in your original leather Doc Martens. Now, a couple of tips that I'm gonna share with you just from doing this a couple of times is one, I would recommend using freezer bags. The bags that I had were storage bags and I did have a couple of instances um, when I was doing my Oxfords where I, I got a couple of leaks and the last thing you wanna do, again, is to ruin your shoe. So make sure that you use freezer bags and I recommend putting, using two, putting one inside the other so you've doubled it up. And also two, don't fill it up to the very top. Remember your, ice, your water is going to turn into ice and that is going to expand. That is what's stretching out your leather. But if you put it to the very top, it could, it could pop, it could explode. And I've had people tell me, you know, that that happened to them. I'm still trying to figure out how that would happen, but just make sure that you don't fill it to the top and I think that that would alleviate any chances of that happening. Um, what you can do is the first day when you put your water in, freeze it, take it out the second day, check it, make sure everything's okay, add a little bit more water and put it back in for the next day. Again, you're getting the maximum benefit of stretching the leather and that is what you're going for. Now, I still recommend, highly recommend the Wonder Balm. The Wonder Balm is something that I'm going to continue to put on my boots and even on the inside to continue just this great breaking in of this leather. Um, these white ones I actually just took out of the freezer this morning and um, there's no, they're not damp inside. There's no moisture inside of my boot. So I'm going to put some Wonder Balm on it. I'm gonna put on a nice pair of thick socks and I'm just going to kind of just give it that extra little breaking in um, boost that I think that this is gonna need. So 
I'm super excited. I, I feel like I have a new lease on life with my white jade and boots. I think that they're going to be comfortable. And I, I think, again, that this was just what I needed to get my boots to that next level of comfortability so I could break them in all the rest of the way with my foot and with Wonder Balm. So there you go. There's my new method of breaking in Doc Martens. Uh, freezer bags, water in a freezer. I would be really, you know, if you do try it and you like it, please leave a comment. I would love to hear the feedback and I would love to hear what you think about this method also. I know um, a lot of people on, again, TikTok and Instagram are telling me that they're going to be doing it and I'm super excited to see what their results are also. Again, like at the beginning of this episode, please, if you have a vegan pair, don't do this on the vegan. I don't want you to ruin your leather. And please make sure that you use freezer bags, not storage bags. So that's it. That's my episode for today. That's my tip for Doc Martens. I hope that you enjoyed it and that this is going to um, work out well for you. If you enjoyed it so much that you want to stick around and see what I talk about next time, please hit that subscribe button. If you just like, yeah, I enjoyed it, but that's about it. If you can just hit the like button. Now, if you want to stick around and see what I do every day and hang out with me on a daily basis, you can click any of the social media buttons down below. I am on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Spotify, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, you can find me on social media on any of the links below. Now, if you just were like, hey, you know what, she's kind of cool, I like her outfit or I like her outlook on life, and you want to hear me and my son talk about life in general, you can click on the link below for our podcast, which is We're in Trouble Now. And it's just a mom and a son sitting in the kitchen talking about life. And we've had quite an adventurous life and we have a lot of stories to share. So I again hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please, I end every episode with this. Please remember to tell yourself something kind. I love you and I will see you on the next episode. Bye.